Hi, I'm Anne Wawado. Here's your Channel's TV Evening News Recap for January the 28th, 2020. The federal government says the country now has 258 confirmed cases of Lassa fever and 41 deaths. The Minister of Health, Asagi Hanire, gave this figure during a press briefing at the Ministry Secretariat in Abuja, the nation's capital. According to him, the Federal Ministry of Health is on an alert following suspected cases of coronavirus in the neighboring countries and raising surveillance at all entry points, including airports and seaports. The resident electoral commissioner in Akwaibom, Mr. Mike Egini, says he has evidence to back his claims that electoral misconduct is the order of the day in the state. In Akwaibom, they don't do election. They write results. The era of writing results is gone. And when I came to the state, I was clear. In Lagos State, residents of some slums today took their protest to the office of the governor in Alausa to vent their grievances over the ongoing demolition exercise along coastal lines. Advocacy Group says thousands of people have been displaced in the eviction exercise without any shelter arrangement from the government. Meanwhile, the Navy offered explanations on the demolition exercise. In an interview with Channel's Television Today, the flag officer commanding Western Naval Command says the eviction was necessary because sea robbers and pirates use the slums as hideouts. And in sports, fans today gathered to mourn the death of NBA legend Kobe Bryant, who was killed along with his daughter and seven others in a helicopter crash. The fans gathered in front of Staples Center in Los Angeles to pay their last respects. Some countries around the world have been considering the option of repatriating citizens living in China following coronavirus outbreak. Japan shattered a plane that left Tokyo today headed for Wuhan. Officials from the Japanese Health Ministry boarded an all-Nippon Airways flight carrying boxes of surgical masks, thermometers, blankets and other medical supplies in the first wave of assistance to Japanese nationals Dutch in Hubei province. And that's the Evening News Recap. Don't forget to join us tomorrow for fresh updates. Thank you for watching. I'm Anne Wong.